Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Today we're going to be looking at this tank. That's right, the FV301, the British light tank that sits in tier 8. Why are we looking at this tank? Well, I was looking at Blitz Stars, and despite the fact it's got a pretty decent win rate at 49.83%, which is better than... Uh, the Spa Panzer and the T-54 Lightweight. It's not as good as the T-49. Not many people are playing this tank. There are only 1,078 players. Compare that to the RU-251 with 1,272. The T-49 was 6,772. And even the T-54 Lightweight was 2,027. Kind of tells me that this tank gets overlooked quite a lot. And, well, this video is to tell you, don't overlook it. It's not as bad as you think. It's actually a big bundle of fun in a little bow. So what are the saving graces of this tank? Well, there's quite a few, to be honest with you. It hasn't got the best DPM. That belongs to the RU251. But at 2,707, it's nipping at the heels. It's much better than the T49, and it's certainly better than the T54 lightweight. It has the best penetration of the non-auto-loading Tech Tree light tanks in tier 8 at 225 millimeters. Now contrast that with the T54 with 175, the T49 with 152, and the RU with a mere 180. You can see that it's got pretty good pen. It's going to slice through most things. It hasn't got the best alpha damage, however. Oh, it's only 190. The T54 has 280, the RU 225, and the T49 with its big derpy gun, a whopping 560. Rate of fire and the reload, however, are fantastic. It's got a reload of just over four seconds. Compare that to the T54 with 7.5 seconds. I mean, this thing is dishing it out pretty nicely. And it's almost half a second quicker than that of the RU. Rate of fire, 14.2 rounds per minute. Compare that to the RU at 12 rounds per minute. And the T54 with 7 rounds a minute. I mean, you're looking at a pretty decent rate of fire in this thing. Caliber, well, it's not the best. In fact, it's the worst. And the shell velocity, however, is the best over a thousand. Its aim time is pretty good. It's comparable to the 251, much better than the T49, obviously, and better than the T54. Its dispersion, not as good as the RU, but better than the other two. Gun depression, well, 10 degrees, which is the same as the RU, the same as the 49, and a lot better than the 54. The thing about this tank is, it hasn't got the best speed. It's only got 62 kilometers an hour. The others have got like 80, 72, 69, and things like that. It has got pretty decent engine power, but it just doesn't put that power down. It does have stonkingly good camo profile, however. I mean, 31% on the move and while standing still, that's the same as the RU. And even after shot, 7% is not too bad. Otherwise, it's got the best frontal armor of all the lights with 160 on its turret and 76 on its lower hull. That's better than any of the others. The T-54 comes close with 150 on its frontal turret. Admittedly, the turret has got better sides and rear. Same with the hull. It's much better than all the others. The T-54 has weaker frontal plate, but it has a very strong side in rear. The win rate in this one, as I said, is 49.83%. That is better than the RU at 49.48, better than the T-54 at 49.6, not as good as the T-49 with its 51. But there's only 1,000 people playing this compared to the 6,000. I mean, I like the FV. I think it's a fantastic tank. I think it's one of those tanks that you can have a lot of fun in. Okay, I'm not setting the world on fire here. I've just dished out a thousand damage. I've spotted, I've killed two tanks, but I've had good fun doing it. I've had good fun throwing this little tank around the map. And that's the main thing. The main thing is to have fun in these tanks. It's a fun tank. I like rolling out of it. And in tier eight, you could go worse. I mean, this is a tier nine, tier eight game. 
And we're here on Black Goldville. I've gone up to the obligatory, tried to get some spots in that position and decided, wow, well, it was better to sort of relocate, reset that camo and get back around. And that's the thing you can do with this tank. It's got pretty decent mobility. It's got an accurate gun. Okay, the alpha damage is pretty pants because it's a British tank. And where you lack the alpha damage, you make up for it in the rate of fire and the reload. And that's the thing you need to remember about tanks like the FB301. I, for, the, for, for the life of me, I don't understand why many people aren't rolling out on this thing. I mean, when you start looking at the other tanks, like the Vickers CR, which is next at Tier 9, followed by the Vickers at Tier 10, these are really good, forgiving light tanks. And that's the thing. I, I admittedly, you know, people are playing the, the Russian lights at the moment, you know, like the, uh, like the Al T-100. But the thing about this tank is that I actually find it a very forgiving tank. It's got a great view range. It's got great mobility. It's got a really accurate gun. The penetration is literally to die for. It will slice through most of these tanks without breaking a sweat. Not only that, it's got trolley armor. You will try and bounce, you know, you try and pen this thing frontally in most tanks and you will see it bounce and then you'll be scratching your head saying, how on earth did that bounce? Well, it bounced because the armor on this thing is really trolley. And when you couple all that together, it really is a big bundle of fun. I love it. I think it's one of those underestimated light tanks that people kind of dismiss for whatever reason. Okay, we like the derp. You like rolling out on the T-49 and smacking things until you're blue in the face because there is fun in doing that. But there's equally good fun in going around the map, using your mobility, staying on spotted and having a laser accurate gun sort of, you know, just pick away at everything in front of you. I don't see where the downside is personally. And as I said, it's a very forgiving light tank. It's not as unforgiving as the T-49. It's certainly not as unforgiving as the RU. So if you've got the FV and you've not rolled out in it for quite a while, give it another turn. Believe me, you'll enjoy it. I mean, we've done 2.5K here. We win the game. It's not setting the world on fire. We never do, but that's not the idea of these videos. The idea of these videos is not just to show you ace masteries, it's to show you how the tanks perform and what you can get out of the tanks and what the tanks are capable of doing. And you can see here, it is capable of dishing out a lot of damage. It is capable of taking those kills. It's even capable of getting credits. This is why I love the FV. Um, 301. It's one of those tanks that is underestimated. We're top damage there, and that's a tier 9 game. Look at how Vickers CR did you know, half of what we did. This tank is one of those tanks that you really shouldn't write off. As I said, if you've got it, dust it off and roll out on it. If you're grinding your way towards it, then just remember, this thing is more forgiving than you think. It will get hurt. It is a light tank. The idea is to run around the battlefield to not be stationary that much. That's why it's got a 31% camo rating. I mean, when you have a 31% camo rating whilst you're on the move, that sort of tells you things. That tells you that this tank likes being mobile. It likes going around the map. And that's what you need to be doing in this thing. Getting those spots, getting that information back to your teammates, where the enemy is, and then relocating, sniping it. It's got an accurate gun. You will love this tank. I know I do. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the FV301, the little British tier 8 light tank. By all means, comment and everything below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.